Hello, my name is Doug Gore. I'm the owner of Cajun Soft Wash out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And today I'm going to do my final review of the Cyclone CY5500 uh, right on surface cleaning machine made by Cyclone Technologies, owned by Blast Track. Um, look, for me, I feel like reviews are supposed to be uh, honest, sincere, true, all those kinds of things. So I'm going to get into a little bit of the good, the bad, the ugly, all of that with this machine. I'm going to tell you who I think this machine is for, who I think it's not for, um, where I think some of the shortfalls are, where I think it really shines, several different things. But let me get into this first. I think that some of the people there, like the, the sales and, and development side of it, um, they really care about the machine. I do believe that. Uh, I think production-wise, they, they have a lot of issues that they still need to address. Um, and I, I feel like... So I'm, I'm a soft wash contractor and a pressure wash contractor, and I don't feel like the people at Cyclone were ever in the pressure washing industry. I think it's probably something that the, you know, was just bought, bought into by somebody else. And I, the reason I say that is I don't feel, everybody that I've ever talked to there has no experience with pressure washing that I'm aware of. And the reason that I bring that up is because this machine can't do what the paperwork says that it should be able to do. And so for me, that's a huge problem. And we're going to address that here a little bit. And we're going to talk about why I feel like it can't reach those numbers, what I think they can do to get those numbers. But let me, let me get into um, this. This is my second machine. The first machine, I had to file a lawsuit against the company in order to get them to do what's right. Now, I'm going to defend them on that at the same time. The reason I'm going to defend them is because they have a different management structure in place now. They got rid of the, the president at, uh, that was there when I had it, um, when I had to file the suit and the vice president. So the, the, the president and vice president are gone. Um, so they do have a different structure there now. And I feel like hopefully maybe they'll take care of business that way um, again. <clears throat> The, the, the problem is I still had problems with the company. Um, today is a bittersweet day for me. Today is the day that Cyclone comes back and picks up this machine and it's gone from my life forever. It's bittersweet because this machine has so much potential and we're going to get into some of that. Um, but it's just, to me, it's, an, it's underdeveloped. It, it's not there yet. And it, it, it can't do what the paperwork says it can do. That is my experience. I'm going to get into that. So, let me start off with this. This machine runs under a 5.5 gallon a minute uh, pump. It puts out great PSI. I think we were getting about 42, 4300 PSI. Um, but nonetheless, it's still a 5.5 gallon a minute pump. A 5.5 gallon a minute pump can only do, can only clean so fast, no matter what, right? It's not going to be able to go any faster than what it does because the, the advantage to the cyclone versus a standard pressure washing surface cleaner that you would walk behind is, is, is in the, um, the design of it. So this does have a hydraulic pump which spins the spinner on the bottom, right? Most, if you go to a walk behind surface cleaner, it'll have tips that instead of going straight down, they're slightly at an angle. And that angle, as the pump is, is pumping, it's pushing that water out and causing that to spin, which will rob a little bit of the power of the pump, okay? Well, since the cyclone doesn't operate that way, it operates with a hydraulics, and so it, that's what spins the head, and the, the tips are straight down, okay? Which is a very good thing, and it will get a, a, a to me, a, a better, deeper clean, but you still can't move very fast. So that's where I want to get into who this machine is really for and what it's capable of. Now, again, this is my second machine. The first machine we received was just riddled with problems. All kinds of stuff that really didn't work. Um, you know, in the end, the pump didn't work. The, there was so much wrong with the machine, it wasn't even funny. And the, and the company wasn't stepping up to the plate to go ahead and fix things. And it, it was just, it, the cyclone for me has been a nightmare, to be honest with you. Okay, so when we filed the lawsuit, we worked it out with them for them to purchase back the old machine and send us a new machine so but we but I put some safeguards in place and those safeguards I put in place were the machine had to capture so much square footage um, per day it also had to not have a bunch of problems um, 
we had problems with it the very first day it came in. Okay, that's where part of my issue comes from. So when this machine got here, it uh, the the emergency brake didn't work. One of the doors, I got this door open. One of the doors, the latch didn't latch um, at all, and so. Um, you know, those are, those are minor things. But another thing that really upset me was on the back side, on, on the other side of this machine, there's a filter housing bay. And that filter housing bay, there's four hose connections that go to it. Of those four hose connections, two of the clamps were never installed. This is the only place, the only place that Cyclone has where you're supposed to be hooking water up to this machine to fill this machine. Okay. If they had tested it, they would have seen that it leaked and should have fixed it. That didn't happen. I don't believe that they tested that side. You know, I don't believe they, they hooked a water hose to it because if they had, it would leak. They would have fixed it. Two hose clamps out of four. To me, that's just, it's a quality control thing. I think that quality control on this machine was a lot better than the first machine. Over $150,000 is what I paid for this machine. And to me, if you're going to spend that kind of money on a machine, the machine should thoroughly thoroughly be gone through. Every single aspect of it should be tested, okay? They didn't do that. So, <clears throat> if this machine only has a 5.5 gallon a minute pump, you have to sit back and say, how much concrete can I actually, what, 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 is, the, what is your intention of buying a, a, a Cyclone? If you're a corporate style, like you're a uh, MGM Studios, you're a um, you just have big, massive parking lots where you're parking garages, things of that nature, where you are going to be doing your own cleaning or you're a uh, Disneyland, Disney World kind of a thing. This might very well be the machine for you. Okay, let me get into the numbers real quick. Their paperwork states that this thing should be able to clean up to, up to, that's a key, up to 20,000 square feet in an hour. I'm sorry, in my experience, that's complete hogwash. It's just no way. The pump it itself can't accomplish that, okay? So if you're buying this machine to be able to clean a whole bunch of concrete and do it quickly, this is not the machine for you, okay? We were not able to, with the first machine and the second machine, which makes it very consistent for me, we were not able to get 30,000 square feet in an entire day, okay? They say 20,000 square feet in an hour. We can't get 30,000 square feet in an entire day, okay? This is with two machines, which tells me that's it. I mean, now, let me back up a little bit. I want to defend them at the same time because I want to be sure I'm being, uh, you know, fair to, to the machine. Not necessarily the company. We're going to get into that a little bit, but more fair to the machine because I think the machine has tremendous potential. I just think it's underdeveloped at this point. So, <clears throat> again, the pump can only do so much, no matter what you do. I challenge Cyclone, I challenge Cyclone to put out a video where this thing cleans anywhere near 20,000 square feet in an hour on dirty concrete. And that's where the key comes in. If you're cleaning dirty concrete, you're not getting anywhere near those numbers. If you're maintaining concrete, if you clean the concrete and then the next month or two months you go out and you're going to keep it clean, sure, you might be able to capture those higher numbers because you can move much faster because it's already the parking lot's already clean, whatever. It also depends on the type of concrete that you're cleaning. Okay, we do a lot of, of um, outdoor parking lots, okay? So not indoor parking garages. And the parking garages have a smooth surface to them and they'll be a little bit easier to clean. They won't have as much debris sunk into them. So with that, it'll be, like, I have a friend of mine that um, does clean parking garages and he's able to get about 60,000 square feet in a day depending on how many turns he has okay so if I could get 60,000 square feet I'd probably be a happy camper but you got to remember that's still a hundred thousand square feet less than their paperwork says okay I know several people that have owned these um, and nobody has been really happy that I'm aware of and uh, lots of complaints about problems with the machines. So I really think that these machines are underdeveloped. Now, the good side of this machine, if, you need, if you're a contractor who needs to recover, recycle the water, man, this machine does that. The suction power of this machine is super awesome. It works really, really well. It definitely picks stuff up. That's also a negative, and the reason that that can be a negative is because if you're dealing with broken concrete, 
you have broken areas of concrete, you need to avoid those areas because you'll, you will suck up chunks of concrete. The little metal plates for, um, you know, your water plates and all that, you'll suck those things up. So you have to avoid those. I had somebody call me and ask me about uh, doing uh, gas stations. And I asked him, I said, how big are these gas stations? He said five, 7,000 square feet. I said, absolutely do not use this machine. The reason being is because it's got such a, a wide turn radius. And the curb cleaner, it has one, but it's really a joke. The reason it's a joke is because it doesn't clean that first four to six inches. One of the people that I talked to at Cyclone um, had said that they were considering getting rid of the, the, the curb cleaner. My opinion is they shouldn't get rid of it. They should develop it. That's the whole thing with this machine. It, this machine has so much potential, but it, in my opinion, it's, it's, it's just it's greatly underdeveloped. I think they need to add a bigger pump to it. We run eight gallon a minute pumps. I think an eight gallon a minute pump isn't going to work here. I think a 12 gallon, you know, it, 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 I think it probably needs something like a 15 gallon a minute pump. If they were to add, the, the footprint of this machine is awesome. It's great. It's, it's a good size. But I wouldn't mind them adding two or three feet to the machine in order to be able to capture more square footage in a day. They, they were more concerned with runtime, which, by the way, if I get into runtime, even with the old machine, which I did get longer run times on the old machine, um, the new machine, because they went with a larger six inch filter bay to try to appease us. I got to give them that. <clears throat> but we weren't able to get over 45 minutes, I think. So um, I know that they're working with that and they're trying to develop that and they're trying to get you more squirt, more um, time running with, with the uh, filter housings. But we weren't able to get the run times they, that they state. We weren't able to get the, the square footage that they state by any, by any stretch of the imagination. If you're looking to clean dirty concrete and you are trying to get a lot of it done in a short period of time or even in a decent amount of time, this is not the machine for you. Two guys, two guys can go out and clean more concrete more effectively than this machine can in an eight-hour day. Hands down, no, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. This is our second machine, happened with both machines. We did a side-by-side -side comparison. I had one guy pushing a, a surface cleaner and uh, one guy driving the machine. The machine moved faster <coughs> and it was picking up the water. So you would think, hey, that's gonna be great. The problem that you run into, again, is the wide turn radiuses, the things that it can't do, the stuff that it has to go around, all these kinds of things, and then the downtime of the clean out. Now we got our, 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 our run or our clean out times down to about 15 minutes, which is a very quick turnover, right? Nonetheless, even with our rinse down with the guys, two guys out running a machine or out running surface cleaners can outdo this machine, which makes this machine not worth the money. But again, going back to that, if you're going to be doing specialty cleanings, like let's say, for example, you want to go out and you want to do, um, uh, golf course, golf course tracks. I think this is a great machine for that. Okay. Because you can go around, you can drive. Around. This thing is going to be awesome. If you have to work around people, if you have to work around cars, it's not, there's no splatter everywhere. Um, it, it, I mean that this would be the machine for you. If, if those are the reasons that you're buying the machine and you're not concerned with square footage, that's going to be, I think the biggest key with this machine, you cannot be concerned with getting a whole bunch of concrete done in, in, in a day. You can't. If you're worried about that, I feel like this is totally the wrong machine for you. Again, this is my second machine, so I have experience with two machines. They both do the same thing. 5.5 gallon a minute pump just isn't the pump to be able to get that accomplished. This machine came in too. The air conditioning system doesn't work. Um, I feel like they should have jumped right on that, had a technician out here. They didn't. That was a big negative for me as well. Another thing for me is, is in the company itself, um, I felt like they played a lot of money games with me. And again, today they're coming to pick up this machine. Um, it's going to be a bittersweet thing when it goes. This is a saga. It's, it's, it's been a nightmare for me. However, I still believe this machine could be a good machine. The money games that they played with me, though, really are very frustrating. And I think that this is important to talk about because if you're going to do business with this company, I think you need to be aware of these things. Okay, So they are buying the machine back and our uh, agreement was there that they had to buy the machine back if it didn't meet certain criteria and it didn't. It, it failed right off the bat really. So 
<clears throat> um, in that, they had 90 days to pay us our money back. And I had several things with them where they would say, okay, we're going to give you X number of dollars up front, and then we're going to give you $10,000 this week, $10,000 the next week, $10,000 the next week, $10,000 the next week, and then we're going to boil it down to a bigger payment in the end. Okay. The first week, the money didn't come. Second week, money didn't come. Third week, money didn't come. The, on the first machine, you know, they said they were putting checks in the mail. I believe it was like four or five times the check was in the mail. We never received the check. The check was never in the mail. So <clears throat> I don't like that because I feel like you're misleading us. You're, and now the, the excuse for them was on this round, what I was told was that we didn't make those payments to you because I wasn't willing to give them the machine so that they could go out and try to sell it. And so there was no advantage to them to paying me, right? So they just wanted to wait the 90 days. <clears throat> I wish they would have just been open and honest with me in the very beginning and said, hey, Doug, hey, look, great. You know, our, our agreement is 90 days. On the 90th day, we're going to pay you. Okay, that's just how we operate. I would have said, great, fine. Don't play these games with people. That would be my thing. I don't, uh, you know, that's, that's part of what frustrated and infuriated me. But the biggest thing is, can this machine do what it says? And the answer for me is simply no. I think it's a great, I think it's a great concept. I think if they develop it better, it'll be good. I just think, I think the company needs work. I think the machine needs work. It's, it's a, again, it's a bittersweet thing for me. If y'all have any questions, I'm happy to answer them for you. Doug Gore, Cajun Softwash, 225-612-5988. Again, 225-612-5988. <clears throat> I think some of the guys there really care. I think the production staff probably didn't, uh, or they don't know. They weren't properly trained on the machine. Um, I still have quality control issues, which I think that they are working on. But there's the one thing I don't think they can get around really is uh, um, the, the square footage per hour. They just can't do it because of the size of the pump. They need to redevelop. That's just it. There's no way around that. Um, Again, great suction, does have hot water, things of that nature. Oh, one other thing, just real quick. If you're, if you're really wanting the air conditioning, it, of course, this machine, the air conditioner doesn't work, but um, the other machine, the air conditioner did work. However, if you're in a hot southern climate like us, don't count on staying cool or comfortable because it does, it's not that effective either. So um, they just need some work on the machine. I think it could be a really good machine. It's just underdeveloped at this time. That's my thoughts. Those are my opinions. I appreciate y'all. And uh, again, if you have any questions or need anything, Doug Gore, Cajun Softwash out of Baton Rouge, Louisiana, 225-612-5988. Appreciate y'all.